Hi guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and I am kitting up Anubis 40 by 95 square, and there he is. So this was from Royal Diamond Painting. Um, I will, somewhere in the video there will be um, a link to where I unbox this. So this is a square, it has come in those like 200 bag thingy bobbies, thingy boobies. But I'm going to kit this up, a um, few times I'll go in and I'll do time lapse so I'll speed it up. And other times I'll come back and talk to you. Um, if I stop anywhere between when I'm kidding up, it will be because I found an issue with the drills. But this one has 59 colours. So how can something that dark have 59 colours? There's a lot of shading. And the side listing is huge look at that that goes probably half the canvas uh, this canvas is going to be quite manageable because it is so narrow Oops. so I am going to get to and kit this one up um, and whoops get this out of the way because it's so big I need to head off my lap to kit it up um, excuse the lamp to the right I'm half blind, I need all the lighting I can get. Let's see, I'll turn that off for a sec. There we go. Now, the I've been able to kit this up because I did go and buy another container. Now these storage containers hold 60 bottles. Um, I was contemplating using my Craftmates Lockable, but that's only I think it's 57, 56, 57, and this has got 59 colours. Um, and I do have the Geisha, which is 60 colours, which I'm about to de-kit one diamond painting, which I finished yesterday. I will be de-kitting that one, and then that will allow me to kit the next one up. Because I need these 60s. So... For those that haven't seen the 60 bottles, so this is the 60 bottles, contain, these little bottles generally contain about a thousand drills. So I get about five of these bags in them. For some reason these ones get come with a square label. Um, no point to a square label on a round bottle, seriously. Okay, but when we look at Actually, the best way to show this is when we look at these when I put this through the label maker they are not going to fit so what I do do is I put it through the label maker and then I cut it in half and then run the letter up the symbol on top and the DMC number on the bottom it also means that when I put these bag these up because I use repositionable labels um, all I need to do is take off the DMC number. So, Xyron Sticker Maker. Thank, fantastic machine, no doubt you've seen this. I use, the first time I first time I got this, I got the normal stickers. Then I got the repositionable and then wasn't happy with them until I realized that repositionable meant that I could take the label from one bottle onto a plastic bag so that when I de-kitted, everything kept the same you know there was no having to redo dmc numbers or any of that now with these there's a couple of little hints with using the xyron maker the xyron i don't know what it is i have no idea what it is but it always they always sit crooked okay i've never i've actually seen other people do their labels and they have come through crooked as well. Um, and so when you get it in the first time, you need to get it, see even that's not straight. Oh, come on, get down there. I think I've got it now. Nope. <laughs> okay, so 
the idea is to, when you get it in there to try and keep your labels straight and otherwise they go lovely and wonky and I find by making sure that I'm in the center I hold that and you can see now already it's going wink, winky wonky let's get that word right and all I've got to do is just try and keep the pressure on that paper to try and make sure it comes goes through straight and it's always a struggle otherwise you're going to find that the label goes off to the side which is what this one is going to do especially considering this is such a long um, list of DMCs just bear with me while I I've got that one and then the last of them in there we go so they are really great the way they work simply put this cover here is the equivalent to the opaque cover on these the glue is on the top section you push it down onto there and when you pick it up the glue is on the other side okay or is it the other way around I don't know. but here we go quick easy labels and Royal Diamond Painting, their inventory sheets, how clear. Okay, their sheets are just so clear. The symbols on the canvas is clear, the symbols on the side on the side of the chart is clear, and these are clear. <coughs> now when I say metal rulers, I always use metal ruler. Metal ruler makes a big difference on everything. But first step for me is I cut down the middle. Because this is going on the bottles, I need to cut it down the middle. And I'll show you on the small on a small scale. Okay, right. So down the middle. And then across. Now the metal ruler is the best best ruler I've come across is the metal ruler. I'm gonna just go by eye. I think I need to replace the blade on my on my thingy bobby. Okay. So the reason why I split is if we look here. And you're not very well zoomed in. But what I've been able to do is basically I've got my symbols on top and my DMC number on the bottom. Ah, gonna cheat. Well, not quite cheap. Do it the simplest way, less handling. Nearly. Let's go that way. I will sort things out in a sec. You'll see what I'm doing here. The. Gosh. I do need to replace my blade. Oops. let's just move that so the great thing about these bottles you can leave them exactly where they are and I've just gone the wrong way around um, 3832233 so all I need to do so I've just put those labels on sideways but when I put turn them around on the bottle on the in the in the tub they're gonna have to sit straight up like that okay so I'm gonna get to kit these up I might um, 
see if I can work out where my replacement blades are. Hang on. Right, so I'm going to keep these eight. Can't find my replacement blade, so what I'm going to do is just do my labels as best I can without the ruler. Oof. Gosh, I don't want to go without the ruler. I need that ruler. And I will speed through this process and come back to you when I am through these steps. Okay, so I've labelled up, I've done my labels. I've picked up a couple of interesting things. So this is where this is, can get classes in the advanced range. Um, and I have checked. If you have a look there, they are actually, when you can see them, one let's see if we can get that one see that that's actually a p see that one that's a p too there is two p's 939 838 if you know your colors both of those are very dark colors okay um that was one that really caught my eye there is a few others that are like, oh, got to be careful with them. Um, but that was the one that really got me, was the two Ps. Uh, if we were, I'll actually bring this up. If you were 838, 838 and 939 are both Ps. One is uppercase, one is lowercase. But one is the dark blue and one is a brownish green. So just something that um, you know, we look at diamond paintings and go, why do they do it? You know, um, I look at it as a challenge to me. It is more that the more difficult the symbols, the more advanced the diamond painting should be classed as. So you know, we look at beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Um, so in saying that, that's the way I look at it that way. Um, on the flip side of that is I diamond paint to enjoy. So if I'm going to rush and rush and rush, what's the point of rushing? It is to enjoy it. And so long as you're aware that some of those symbols are so similar, you should be fine. I know if when I do this one, I have to look out for the P's. You because know, there is uppercase and lowercase letters. So there's uppercase N, lowercase N. Um, your W and your M are two different things, which is one that is a pain in the bum for me, for my eyesight. Uh, w and... Where is it? I know I've got it there. 827. Oh, directly below um, that's more that I don't want there's no mistaking my labels because <laughs> you know they do go upside down every now and then uh, uppercase and lowercase n your e and f There we go. There's another one that's going to be close that I need to keep an eye on. They are both similar in colour. So you little things that you just, you don't realise because they they are stacked so separately. Um, but when you actually do kit them up, you do see the things that are like, oh, that's going to be close. Um, I know one of mine is S's and 8's. And 
twos and sevens. Um, but yeah, so now I have to go through the fun bit of fitting as many of these into the bags as I can. How does that crinkle sound? Does it sound like Christmas? I will not apologise for making a sound of that because it is so cool. Okay, one of the great things about this container, what doesn't fit in the containers will fit into there. So I'm going to go sort these out and I know these belong to the first set of colours all the way up to 550 and all of those are in there. So we'll sort these into their numbers and I'll start packing away. If I find any issues with drills, um, I'll get back to you. Anubis is now kitted up. I have extra drills. Um, I have one bag, nine three eighths, and one bag of all the other leftovers. Now I don't believe that might just fit. Okay, so uh, where is the one? The P and the P. And this is where the two P's, the upper and the lowercase P's, are so close together. So that's just a little one to remember to keep an eye on. And the other one to keep an eye on was the E and the F. Where did I have the F? There. And yet again, the E and the F are so close in colour that those are ones that I just have to keep an eye on. But yeah, there we go. That is Anubis all kitted up. Um, put that in there. Although not essential to keep now. But that is Anubis ready to go for when I'm ready to start. Um, this one will be worked like all of mine, top to bottom. However, when I work on this, This will be this will be rolled and placed in an ever moment tube and made to make it a lot more manageable. So that's when you deal with big ones, you need to learn how to work with them rolled. And highly likely, this one will actually end up. I will use it on the easel. Um, just because it'll probably make it a bit easier and because it is square and just another quick look there was no issue with the drills just give you a quick look at the canvas if it's going to focus it's not going to focus because I've got that light
Trust me, the symbols are clear. Come on. Here we go. Bang. There we go. <laughs> Fooled it. Um, and then we can see the F's and the E's in there. So that's just something you'll be very careful of. So yeah. There we go. What another one kitted up, good to go. This will just hang up in my wardrobe for the time being. All my spare drills are inside here. So nothing will go missing and it's kind of got a bit of a bowl. Okay, that'll be all good. Okay, so there we go. Had a few more videos to get done today or tomorrow. See how we go for time-wise. But if, um, yeah. So guys, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Subscribe, please subscribe. How about I say that? Please subscribe. Um, my subscription my scri subscribers are slowly climbing up. As of right now, I think they might start doing it. I've now got 627 subscribers. Um, it'll be in a way, it'll be a good way to look back at how what how they grow, how my subscribers grow. Um, but yeah guys, thank you for watching, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe and of course hit that bell, that way you'll get notified of anything being uploaded or I'm going live and uh, I will talk to you later, bye for now.